Alright, here's a little picture of my setup I got going on. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of vegetation in there. Um, if you look over here, I've got a couple hidey holes. There's one right down there. On top of that, there's a uh, half of a hollowed log. Um, I've got vines running on almost everything. If you look right there, you can see another hidey hole log, which this first one is laying on top of. A couple plants. If you come this way, oh, there's my guy. He's on top of one of his big logs that's got a hidey hole underneath. It stretches all the way to the back of the terrarium and way over there. Hey, what's up, little buddy? <laughs> um, up here, he likes to hang out up here because it's real bright. He's got a couple inches that stretch across the entire top. And attached to those branches, I've got a whole bunch of uh, vines. Can't really see because that cloth's in the way, but I have a whole bunch more vines over there. Um, a couple more sticks coming out, branches wrapped around them. There's quite a bit of vegetation in there. He really likes it because it's all up in the air. There's this little water dish down there. I also have a uh, flat tailed house gecko. But he doesn't like the light, so he doesn't come out until about 10, 11 at night. He usually stays under that hidey hole. Or that one. And then way back in the back there, I have another hidey hole. This is a pretty uh, large aquarium. More vines and branches back there. Keep my thermometers hidden. I can see them when I get to the right angle, but otherwise you can't even tell they're in there. Yep, and uh, that's about it. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. I got another, uh, what I did was I took a hidey hole and put it on its side and stuffed a whole bunch of bark in it, so it's kind of like a, uh, it's got like a little hiding place back there with shade. I put a little plant above it. So, he hides back there sometimes and looks at me when I'm on my computer, which is right next to it. But, uh, yeah, that's my setup. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, give me a message or anything like that. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys can see it from here. He's probably going to get scared, but oh well. Down there at the bottom, what I've done is I've taken the moss and I've put in a soft cloth screen above it. It's really hard to focus in on it. But uh, I have terrarium moss down there. And then what that screen does is it keeps my lizard from ingesting any little particles when they eat. But uh, yeah, that's my that's my setup. It's really, really, really dense foliage in there. As you can see, got their little dish in there. I don't like them eating off the ground. I don't want the crickets and mealworms crawling around trying to nibble. Oh, sorry, little buddy. That scared the crap out of him. Well, that's my setup. Um, comment, please. Post your other setups if you guys don't mind. And uh, if you have any questions, give me a message.